Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. This is gonna be like sort of the first ship that I ever released that is actually like something that I would actually want to like download and try out. So, uh, this is the HMS Andrea V and, uh, she's almost ready to go. She's got some, uh, thingamabobbies on the front, water hoses so that we can actually put out some fires. We've got a very, very, very small heliport so we can actually land some helicopters on here as well. Uh, we do have our own little lifeboats, which do actually work kind of well, which is pretty good. And, um, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with this ship. We also have this little thing back here, which is to grab onto little boats or whatever is at the bottom of the ocean and lift it up, which is actually kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I really like the look of this ship. We do have a few things to change in it, however. And those are, we need some lights down here in this room right here. We need some lights in here. We need to go downstairs. We need to change up one of these rooms. We've got two rooms that are identical. Uh, one of them needs to change into a different type of room, and then we're good from there. Um, we've got nothing in this room back here either, so we might have some windows or something on the side. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, after all of this, I do actually think it's all pretty good. Uh, I will be uploading it to the workshop in, um, well, after this video is done. So, yeah, if you guys want to check this out, I'll link it down below. So, I have had a lot of questions about the Scrib Marine, and I'm thinking I will probably continue with it at least a little bit until it's almost done, and then I'll upload it to the workshop and you guys can check it out. Uh, as for the solar planes and stuff like that, the solar planes will s continue to come out as they change the solar panels and stuff like that, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, for this ship, I'm actually really liking it at the minute. Um, if we go downstairs, I'll show you guys what I mean by what I want to change, and uh, yeah, stuff like that. We need some lights for this room, unless this is a light button. No, this is. There we go, we got a light button right there. Alright, cool, those lights actually work. We'll probably have some windows in here as well, uh, so we'll change that. Alright, cool, let's go downstairs. Uh, the lights are right here, these lights work now, that's pretty cool. We do need some lights down here as well, and we need to change this from red to white. Alright, cool, and we'll probably end up filling in this hole, because it's, it's not necessary, we don't need it. If we go downstairs, we got nothing in this room at the minute. If we go in there, we've got some beds. If we go on the other side, we've got a lot more beds. And I feel like actually we might keep those like they are. I feel like they're okay. I don't seem to be... Why is it like... It's one off the ground. We're missing some stairs on the bottom of there. So we'll, we'll change that as well. If we go back outside, I might get rid of this door. Don't feel like we need it. I'll probably get rid of it. Um, and we need a way to get on top of the helipad. So we'll go ahead and do that as well. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first easy change to make is the helipad stairs. Let's go ahead and grab those, and we'll go ahead and make a way up and a way down, because that seems like a good idea. We'll go ahead and make them black, and we'll go ahead and just put them, I guess, right here. That'll be completely fine right there. There we go. We'll make our way downstairs. Here we go. Just literally just pop them on there, and uh, yeah, we'll go lower and lower and lower until we hit the floor, and then once we've hit the floor, we are good to go. Now, I don't know whether I like that, but they work. They do work. So that's good. Um, and yeah, we'll leave them just like that. We can actually get up and down now from the helipad. That's good. If we go inside, we'll go ahead and fix this little bit next. We'll go ahead and do this all the way across the side. We might have some pieces on the outside that we need to delete, which we do. We'll go ahead and get rid of those. And we'll change that from being red to being white. There we go. Beautiful. All right, cool. That's good. Um, as for anything else that we'll change right here, we'll go ahead and add some windows right here. We'll have just one. Or probably two. Actually, one does work, but two is probably a good idea as well. Um, although it does cut the corner off there. We'll do it there. And no, actually, you know what? We'll do it on the other side of this. All right, I got an idea. We'll, we'll build a new wall there, and we'll delete this side, like so, and we'll put some windows in. Window, please! We'll just have a large 3x3 three three window, and we'll just plop it inside there, being the same color as the other ones. There we go. Good. That makes it look a tiny bit nicer, which is obviously a really good thing. Uh, right, cool. Now, this place needs windows as well. This is the map room, so we'll go ahead and put some of those in. Don't know how high to make them. Probably almost touching the top, so we'll, we'll basically put them in the same position as the ones downstairs, which seems like a good plan to me. All right, cool. Turn those around. We'll put them right there. We do obviously have the balcony, but that goes down at the back right here, which is pretty nicely done. However, I am going to go ahead and add some sort of, like, system on the way down. And what I mean by system is we're going to have this come out here. One... And then we're going to go down, just like some normal stairs normally would, uh, but on the side. There we go. So it looks a little bit nicer than it did. All right? Because otherwise it's too skinny and thin and weird looking. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and put all of these in. There we go. 
And that should work quite well. Yes, indeedy. There we go. Good. And one more. All right, there. Beautiful. That does actually look kind of nice now, so that's cool. Not entirely sure what this is. I can't remember. Um, it might be where the fuel tank is. No, there's literally nothing in here. Um, but I feel like we should keep it because it, it does add something to the back of this thing. Otherwise, that would just be an open area. Um, so yeah, even though it's useless, we'll keep it. Um, right, okay, cool. All of the lights do actually work now. We've got these little things in here, which are for each light. This one is for the, uh, the water on the front. And the others for all the lights. So I'll keep them the way they are. That seems like a nice idea. Uh, as for downstairs, I'm not entirely sure what to do downstairs. We do need to sort this out, though. That is definitely one of the things that we do need to sort. Um, and we'll do that just like this. We'll delete this real quick. And it's a little bit bigger than the one upstairs. So we'll go ahead and put that there. We'll put one of these on the back end. We'll make it go like that. And we'll obviously put the stairs in as well, right here. Turn them around. Boop, boop, boop. And there we go. All right, cool. We got some stairs going all the way down to the bottom floor. Um, as for these rooms... I'm not entirely sure what to do with them. We do need a toilet, of course, somewhere. So we'll put a toilet in both rooms. One for males, one for females. And that should be kind of nice right there. We do need it to actually be bigger than I thought, which is fine. Uh, we need a door. Door, please. And we'll have these rooms sort of connected together. So we'll, we'll delete like a whole bit in the wall right here. Um, in, fa in fact, actually, we'll delete the whole wall. There we go. We'll have like this little lip. No, there's not even any reason to do that. There we go. Um, but that also means that we don't need a double door right here at the front, so we might have to change that as well. Unless we keep it, of course, which we totally can. Um, yeah, we'll keep it, we'll keep it. Uh, these are gonna be the toilets for males and females. They're gonna be, uh, separated out, because why not? There we go. And the door is gonna open on both of them. Um, no, 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 that's probably a bad idea. Probably a bad idea. Move it over by one, and then we can have both doors in the middle. Yeah, this sort of makes sense to me now, I think. Alright, cool, move them over. There we go. Go ahead and do this. Up the sides. Delete two holes. Boop, boop. There we go. And we'll go ahead and fill this in. Yes. And then we need toilets and stuff, which is kind of interesting. Uh, toggle. Yep. We'll go ahead and have a toggle button on both sides. And we'll go ahead and have some cubicles and stuff in here. And some poopers. In fact, we might as well just put the poopers in. So, never built a toilet before in this game. So, that's interesting, I guess. Maybe. Um, right, we'll go ahead and do this. There we go. We'll do this on this side. This is not what a toilet looks like. It kind of looks more like a sink. Uh, but whatever. I don't really know how to build toilets. Which is, I think is fine. <laughs> I think that's an okay thing to, to have a problem with in this game. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and paint that bit blue. Bit blue, please. There we go, paint. Blue, because that's gonna be the water. And, yeah, that's gonna be the little toilet, I guess. We're going to paint it slightly different colors so we can have some sort of, like, back system to it. There we go. Yep. Good. There's our little poo-poo place. To have a bunch of poo-poos in. All right. Good. We'll do the same thing around this corner and um, the same thing on this side. And everybody can have their own little toilet. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. So I am actually just going to copy and paste them. We're going to go ahead and do this. Do this. And do this. There we go. Nicely done. And we'll go ahead and get the back piece as well. And then we can literally just copy and paste this around. So... We'll go ahead and copy it, and we'll move it sideways a little bit. We'll have one on this wall, probably all the way on the wall. That's good. Paste it right there, and we'll have one on this wall as well. Yeah, there we go. Boop. We'll put it right there. All right, cool. Poopy walls, poopy walls. All right, we need them on the other side as well, so we'll go ahead and put one right there. Boop. And we'll put one on this wall right here as well. Hopefully, we can drag this forwards, and it'll look all right. Yep, there we go. Paste. Good. All right, cool. we got a bunch of poopers. Inside of our uh, ship right now. Good. Adding the toilets was a good idea, I think. There we go. Good. We got some toilets in there. We do probably need a light in here as well. And probably not a red roof. But we'll go with it anyway. And we need some lights. Here we go. Light. All right. Cool. Light. There we go. Grab one of those. We also need a button, which will only be for this room. We'll put it on the inside. And it'll be a toggle button. All right. Cool. Go ahead and put the light inside. We'll have it be a white light. White light. There we go. Put it right there. And we'll have a button on both sides. We'll have one there and one there. And, oh, what did I just do? I think I just deleted something, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, right, we'll go ahead and do this. And we'll logic fire them up. So, that's going to be the door. That's going to be the door. Um, they do need power and stuff like that. That's going to be the light. That's also going to be the light. And we also need um, electricity. So, electricity to all of you, please. Thank you. The lights also need some electricity as well. Build you to there. Put you to there. And put you into the normal system by adding you to the battery. There we go. 
We've all got batteries now. Beautiful. All right, cool. They're all attached now, so that's all good. And it does actually move quite well, so I'm happy with the way it moves. Am I happy with everything else, though? I believe I am. I don't really know what else to change on this thing. Um, I feel like we should delete this. We're going to delete this door. Uh, I don't feel like we need a door there. So we'll go ahead and just fill it in like this. Beautiful. And we'll get rid of the button because we don't need it anymore. And we'll build this on there like so. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm actually really liking this at the minute. We'll go ahead and add um, one little pole right there. There we go. And I believe it's done. I think it's finished. It doesn't have any GPS or autopilot or anything like that because I'm not entirely sure how to do those yet. Uh, so I'm going to leave them as they are right now. But we'll go inside. We'll give it a quick test and we'll see if it works. All right, so first thing we need to test. Oh, we need to add lights in here as well. So we'll go ahead and do that in a second as well. But we can actually go up these stairs now. So that's beautiful. If we go through this door, we can run all the way to the back. Oh, that's what I deleted. All right, we, need, we deleted a hole in the floor. That is not a good idea because this might actually end up sinking us. Uh, the lights do actually work and they fill up the entire room completely fine. Um, I was thinking about adding some sort of porthole through here, which would actually be kind of cool. Let's see what that looks like. All right, cool. Uh, let's add the lights first, though. So we'll have a light in this corner. And we'll have a light uh, on the table as well. All right, cool. Go ahead and put that in there like so. Beautiful. And we'll put one in here. Oh. Oh, it's not in the best place there. Because we've deleted a corner piece. You see, we've deleted a corner piece already. There we go. Let's attach those up. Uh, so they do need power. There we go. You need power. You need power. You need power. You need power. Yes, there we go. And you need power. Very nice. Very nice. All right, cool. Uh, we need to attach them all to the button as well. So the light button is actually... This is one thing that I don't really like about this thing. Is the light button in this room is closer to the door than the door button is. But I have labeled them. Uh, so that one's lights, that one's door. Um, but you could actually misclick those quite easily. So yeah. Also with the toilet idea, with the, the window idea and the toilets. Uh, let's see what it looks like. So we'll go ahead and we'll do like a big porthole through both sides. Okay, so it's going to go through there and through there. Um, it won't work. It won't work. It's not in the right place. We would have to do it further back, which would mean deleting this and deleting this, which is also in the wrong place. So if we delete it from there and we delete it from there, we, it will be above a toilet, but I feel like that's okay. I feel like that's fine. We're going to add a, a window. <laughs> We're going to add a big window. Porthole. Um, small porthole. Is that like small enough? Yeah, there we go. And we'll have a red one on this one on this side. There we go. And we'll try and connect all the walls together so that it doesn't look so weird. There we go. Beautiful. All right. We'll have a. We'll be able to see outside from here, uh, which I think is actually kind of cool. Um, we'll go ahead and delete that. And we'll go ahead and do this. There we go. Yeah. Good. All right. Cool. So we can actually see outside when we're having a pee now. Beautiful. Yeah. Always. Always wanted to see outside of a ship when I'm having a pee. Um, it also looks kind of cool having that down here. So we'll probably add some more as well. Um, I don't know where to put them though. Like there could be a few in here. I could build one there and we'll put it all the way through. Yeah, and we'll have another one back here as well. And we'll put it all the way through. Yeah, do they look in like weird places at the ship? We should probably also have one here as well. Uh, just to sort of level it all out, I should say. There we go. It's going to be next to a bed. But um, I think that's okay. All right, cool. We'll put that right there. We'll put one right there. We'll put one right here. And we'll go ahead and get a red one. And we'll put all of them in as well. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Cool. That's actually really nice. And actually, we don't even need this bit in the middle. We really don't even need this bit. But um, having it is probably a good idea. But if I do this instead, I feel like that looks way nicer. Having it like that. So we're going to have it like that. Yeah, there we go. Turn this around. We're going to do that as well. And we're going to do the same on that side. Spin it around. Yes. All right. Cool. I think that looks pretty nice. Pretty nice indeedy. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste this all the way down, and um, yeah, cool. All right, so all of them unnecessary things are actually in this side. We do just need to merge them together, and once they're all merged, they are actually part of our ship. We do need to do it on the other side, though, and I've, I've missed a bit. How have I managed to miss a bit off all of them? I've missed a tiny bit off of all of them. Um, right, okay, well, I guess we can just merge them again. So we'll paste them, and we'll bring them this way, and we'll paste them. And then we'll bring them this way, and then we'll paste them. There we go. Keep pasting them as we go along, and this will be end up beautiful. All right, there we go. Paste that one in, and that's all good. All right, cool. We do need to do it on the other side as well, uh, but basically we're just going to merge all of these together uh, because we need to. There we go. Good. They're all merged together. We have a massive gap in the back of this ship, and it allows it to float a little bit better in case you guys were wondering why there's such a massive hole right here. 
Um, it's because that's basically how it works. Um, we are going to click here. We're going to click clear content. And we're going to make a bigger one. And then we're going to copy it. All right, copy it. We're going to take it over to the other side. And we're going to paste it. There we go. Good. And we're going to do it pretty much for every window. So this one needs doing. We'll go ahead and put it in the right place. Press paste. We'll bring it backwards. And we'll press paste on this one as well, please. Thank you. There we go. Paste. And that's all the windows that we need on this thing. I feel like they actually look pretty good. All right. Merge them all. Boop. There we go. You've been merged. You've been merged. You've been merged. And you, I believe, have already been merged. All right. Fantastic. That is looking pretty good. Pretty good. We don't have any anchors on this thing. That is one thing that it is definitely missing as of right now. This floor needs changing color. If we go downstairs, there is a hole in the floor in here. I did remember. I did actually remember. We'll go ahead and fill that in. And uh, the roof is red. So we'll go ahead and change that as well to be a different color. Uh, we'll go with like, I don't know what color to do. I mean, white would make it look a bit weird. We're going to go with like a, a, a gray. There we go. Beautiful. All right, cool. We got a gray roof. Weird, but um, I'm, I'm not upset with that. I'm happy with that. There we go. All right, cool. So this thing is pretty much ready to go. It is ready to rock and roll. So, yeah, we'll leave it as it is. This needs changing color. I'm not really happy with that, actually. I don't know why the inside is red and everything else isn't. But, um, oh, you know what? We'll keep it as it is. I feel like that's okay. All right, cool. Well, um, that's basically it. We're going to go ahead and upload this now. If you guys want to check it out and change it, if you want to change it, then you guys can do that. Uh, but I'm actually really liking it right now. So we'll probably end up using this for a mission at some point. I have used it for a mission before. And um, yeah, it's actually really enjoyable to, to play with. Anyway, for right now, I'm going to say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go see what it looks like from the poo toilet. And then I'll end the video. I don't know why I called it a poo toilet. But yeah, look, we can see out the window now from downstairs. And you can actually see how thick the walls are between the inside and the outside, which is... Uh, Right, like quite a big distance actually. It's quite a big distance. We'll go inside. We'll go to the toilet. Pretend we're having a wee. Yeah, we're weeing in the toilet. And yeah, we can see outside, which is uh, beautiful. We've even got a light in here. Yeah, amazing. If you guys want to see what it looks like at night time as well, we'll go ahead and show you that. So we'll turn on all the lights. Uh, boop. There we go. Oh, they look way better in here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, that's the kitchen, by the way. Um, not the best kitchen in the world, but it's okay. Um, the lights in here uh, are toggled by this. They're okay if we go upstairs. I wish there was stairs to go upstairs instead of that, but um, that's okay. And um, the bridge lights. Deck lights. There we go. Bridge lights. This is what it looks like at night time. We'll go ahead and change it to night time. And you guys can see what it looks like. Yeah! I think this looks like a real ship. I'm, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. Uh, but yeah, I'll go ahead and upload this to the workshop and you guys can mess around with it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.